So right now on TV, there's an advert advertising California, and in said advert is Kim Kardashian, but that isn't what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the book that Kim Kardashian is reading. Hey, look for yourselves. People have a lot of misconceptions about California, but none of them are really true. Did you see it? Did you see the book she was reading? She was reading quantum physics, and I just may be the only guy that has realized that because I was the only guy looking at what her book says rather than her boobs. Now, hey, listen, I don't mean to perpetuate the negative stereotype that dictates that pretty women can't also be interested in things like quantum physics, but Kim Kardashian is not interested in quantum physics, and even if she is, and she isn't, it isn't the kind of book that you read when it's sunny next to a swimming pool in a sun lounger when you're Kim Kardashian in a camera. Californian advert. No, it is the kind of book that you read of coffee and a headache as science systematically dismantles everything that you thought you knew about the universe. Which is why I'm willing to bet you my right test score that Kim Kardashian doesn't read quantum physics. In the same way that I'm willing to bet my left test score that Paris Hilton doesn't read medical journals on open heart surgery written in Latin. And yes, I know if Kim Kardashian suddenly starts studying quantum physics and Paris Hilton becomes an intern studying cardiovascular surgery while studying Latin as a second language, I could potentially lose both my testicles, but I'm pretty sure that ain't gonna happen. So whilst we're speeding through this vlog, Charlie is so cool like recently did a video entitled Fun Science to Moon. Now whilst we're talking about quantum physics, let's do our own version of fun science, because you know I know most of you are just crazy Charlie is so cool like fangirls who only come to me when Charlie is so cool like hasn't been around for a while and you need some quick fix for British accent, but hey, I'm cool with that. So right now, in physics, specifically quantum physics, there's an idea called the parallel universe theory, or as some of you may know it, the multiverse theory. Now, in this theory, there is an infinite amount of universes where every possibility exists, including every possible version of yourself. What I mean by that is, you know about time that you stole the last cookie from the cookie jar even though your mother told you not to? Yeah, well there's a universe out there where you didn't do that, where you didn't go on that skiing trip that you loved, or you did go on that skiing trip that you didn't go. There is a universe out there, an infinite amount of universes where everything that has happened hasn't happened, and everything that hasn't happened has happened. Which means every possible version of you exists in a different universe, in a parallel universe. And you know what that means? That means that somewhere out there in a parallel universe is a version of you in which you have had an incestuous relationship with your own mother, you sick freak! Oh, come on, don't look at me like that, it's not my fault, it's... Fun, fun, fun science. Right? Fun science?